these workers, these pharmacy technicians and pharmacists are, are working their tails off, but they're, they're tired. Omicron is impacting the workforce to levels never seen before. The most contagious variant is sending some employees home sick, leaving others feeling burnt out. That means extra shifts for already burnt out health care staff. Reporter Mary Klingler has a look at how much extra weight our local health care workers are trying to carry. I do COVID testing. Despite the cold, healthcare workers are in the field and in the trenches. Right now, we're, we're mainly the only ones offering rapids. At this testing site in Fountain City, there are two employees administering COVID-19 tests throughout the day. It was definitely a surprise in about two weeks. This site was only doing around 10, 10 tests per day, and right now it's averaging over 100. Healthcare workers across the medical field stepping into positions they didn't necessarily sign up for. It adds a whole nother layer to our job. Before the pandemic, you might have thought of a pharmacy primarily as a place to fill your prescriptions. Now it's the prime COVID-19 one-stop shop. You might not recognize the number of people that they're seeing in a day, whether it's just for prescriptions or vaccination or testing or all of the above, it's it's burning them out. This South College School of Pharmacy professor says now that we're seeing a second extreme spike in COVID-19 cases, it's hard for those who are stepping up to the front lines. The number of people that have either left healthcare professions or that are, are sick or looking for another job because they have been giving it their all for so long, and that they can't maintain the pace. This doesn't just impact sick people with COVID-19. Staffing shortages, he says, has a ripple effect. When people have a car wreck, right, and they don't have people at the hospital to be able to accommodate all this stuff, that person is who's really being impacted about these staffing levels. Reporting in Knoxville, I'm Mary Klingler. Several hospitals in East Tennessee are hiring and they could use the help. North Knoxville Medical Center says you can stop by for an immediate interview.